In my Stable Baselines 3 Get Started video, I showed you a little bit of code on how to start training a model really easily. And depending on what algorithm that you pass in, I was using this match statement to create the instance of the algorithms. Now I did this for simplicity, but it's kind of clunky. And there's also several other algorithms to choose from that I didn't miss out here. So today I want to replace the match statement and dynamically create the instance of the algorithm that we want. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to start at the bottom. Right after we parse the command line, we'll create an instance of the algorithm that we need. The built-in get attribute function helps us import the algorithm that we need from the stable baselines 3 module and then establish an instance of that algorithm. For example, in our command line, we want to use dqn by passing dqn here. We're saying that we want to import dqn from the stable baselines 3 module, which means up here, we don't need to import the individual algorithms. We'll just import the main module. You can see that this line of code is valid now. Let me also list out all the possible algorithms right here. Okay, going up. Now we don't need the match statement. Let me copy one of these. We can just use the generic class that we created at the bottom and we don't need the match statement anymore. I'll do the same thing in the test function. And get rid of the match statement. Looks like we don't need to use this parameter anymore. I'll get rid of that. And then at the bottom, where I call my test function, we don't need to pass the algorithm in. Also in the test function, instead of done, let me replace this with terminated and truncated because many of the gym environments do truncate the episodes. We'll talk about that in a bit. If the environment is terminated or truncated, will end the episode. So in that get started video, I added some extra steps here so that when the environment ended, it will show the agent doing an additional 500 steps. That was really just for me to see the humanoid struggle on the ground. We don't really need that, so I'm gonna take it out. Okay, I think that's all the changes. Let's try to train something. First one is the gym environment. I'm gonna train this guy, Pendulum. Copy the environment name, the algorithm that we want. I have a video that talks about which algorithms to choose. Check that one out if you haven't. I'm just gonna go with the two newest one, which is SAC. And then I'll do dash T for training. Let me kick this off. Okay, training is happening. Let me kick off another one. I'm gonna copy the command line create a new terminal, paste in the command line. I will change this to TD3. Start this up. Okay, I got two training happening at the same time. I'm gonna create one more terminal. I'm gonna launch TensorBoard, pass in the log directory of logs, which is this one right here. You can see that it's being populated with logs already. Once TensorBoard starts up, it gives us a URL. I'm gonna control click on it. Let me change the color. I'll make SAC red, make this one blue. And I'll zoom in here. Make sure up here, right above settings on the gear, this page is doing auto reload every 30 seconds. So you can see the updates happening. You're seeing these faint lines here. This is TensorBoard trying to smooth out the curve. If we don't want to see these extra lines, let's come over here to smoothing and bring it down to zero. And those faint lines will be gone. We'll see the actual values only. So this graph is showing us the average rewards in a pendulum. The goal is to get the pendulum up in a vertical position and balance itself there. If I go down to episode truncation, it means that after 200 steps, the episode's gonna end. 
That means within 200 actions, the agent needs to be able to balance itself vertically. So what we're looking for is a score or a reward of 200 or better. Right now it's at about four or 500 and I'll pause here and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. You can see with the TD3 algorithm, we're flattening out and it looks like the average reward is about 150. SAC is still not there yet. So remember that in our code, at every 25,000 actions, we save the model. And it looks like we're already past 25,000. So we have a model saved. So we can stop the training now. You can see the model right here. I'm just going to click on the trash can and stop the training. We also don't need TensorBot anymore. Okay, now let's do a quick test. I'll paste in the command from before, make sure we change the algorithm to the one that we want to try. Instead of dash T, we'll do dash S and I'll pass in the model. Oh, there you go. It's able to balance itself. It should end right now. Okay. Another thing that I want to improve on is this saving every 25,000 episodes. It's kind of restricting. I want to be able to save it when the model is trained. So in the next video, we'll take a look at that. And if I do that video, it should pop up right about now.